Hey, Trinity Youth, we're so excited to have HTB and Focus Live be doing some content for us over the summer. You're not gonna wanna miss this. In the next couple weeks, we have these incredible videos that have been put together with some great teaching. We're still gonna be meeting up at three o'clock in the afternoon for our Zoom calls. Catch up, hang out, see how you guys are doing. Uh, so three o'clock this afternoon, we're gonna be having a Zoom call. We'll put the link out. Uh, text your leaders if you need the link and yeah. That's pretty much it. We'll chat to you soon. Hopefully, 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 we'll be able to meet together again like we did this past Thursday. But uh, depending on government guidelines and stuff and recommendations, we're gonna play it by ear. But we'll let you know and we'll let your parents know as soon as we figure it out. So we love you guys. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Maisie. I'm Ben. And welcome to Summer Sessions Week Two. We're so happy that you joined us. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the summer sessions and to share this video with some friends. Now we're going to hand over to Claudia with the worship. God, I look to you, I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. God, I look to you, you're where my help comes from, give me wisdom, you know just what to do. Thank you very much, Claudia, for the worship. That was amazing. 
Now we're going to head over to Rua, who's going to talk to us about rejoicing in the struggle. Today I'll be reading from Matthew chapter 14, verse 22 to 31. Immediately Jesus told his followers to get into the boat and go ahead of him across the lake. He stayed there to send the people home. After he'd sent them away, he went by himself up into the hills to pray. It was late and Jesus was there alone. By this time, the boat was already far away from land. It was being hit by waves because the wind was blowing against it. Between three and six o'clock in the morning, Jesus came to them, walking on the water. When his followers saw him walking on the water, they were afraid. They said, it is a ghost and cried out in fear. But Jesus quickly spoke to them. Have courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said, Lord, if it is really you, then command me to come to you on the water. Jesus said, come. And Peter left the boat and walked on the water to Jesus. But when Peter saw the wind and the waves, he began to become afraid and sink. He shouted, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught Peter. Jesus said, your faith is small. Why did you doubt? Um, from this, I just kind of wanted to talk about how like in times of struggle we may not recognize god and how in times of struggle we may not always turn to god and why we should do that um yeah so to start with i just wanted to draw on chapter sorry verse 26 where it says when his followers saw him walking on the water they were afraid they said it is a ghost and cried out in fear i think a lot of the time when we're in situations which we may not know the full outcome of where we may not know what is going on like our first point of call isn't how is god working in this it's why is this happening and um here like his disciples this is jesus jesus's followers is the disciples these are people who gave up their lives to like everything they knew they abandoned it in order to follow jesus because they had faith in jesus and it just says it they said it is a ghost when they saw Jesus walking on the water like these are people who were with him every day and they didn't recognize God because he was working in a way, a way which was foreign to them and I think a lot of the times we we may not know how God is working in our lives or why God is working in our lives in a certain way and in certain scenarios which are beyond our control like why certain things may be happening um but I think within that like it's always important that when you're struggling that you look to see how is God working in this like look to God and ask God God is this you like God what can I learn from this experience God like turn to God because further on in the passage it says when Peter saw the wind and the waves after he um he'd got on the water because Jesus told him to come to him he became afraid again and immediately it says immediately so not five minutes later not when peter was half drowning immediately when peter called out to god immediately peter was saved and i think a lot of the time we may not when we're struggling our first point of call isn't to ask god god help me god save me it's god why and while that is very very reasonable i think that we should develop a culture of kind of in times where we're struggling to Thank God that we're still here and that we're still fighting, but also ask God to come into our lives. And God answers prayers in so many different ways. Like we may not know how God has answered our prayers or we may not know how God has worked in our lives in times when we're calling for him. But God never abandons us. And that's something we need to remember. It says here, immediately Jesus reached out his hands to catch Peter. That is not a, that is there was no hesitation within Jesus and I think as Christians something we need to always remember is that in any type of struggle no matter how big no matter how small God is there for us and that we can turn to God um another thing I wanted to draw on was Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 to 27 where it says therefore I tell you do not be anxious about your life what you will eat or what you will drink nor about your body or what you will put on. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet our heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? I think within that verse, it kind of talks about how 
a lot of the time when we're stressed or worried about stuff, our focus is on everything but the fact that God will get us through it. And again, like this whole message of like, when you're in a period of struggle, God has, God will help you. And whether or not it may be in the way that you want God to help you, that can be different for all kinds of people. But at the end of the day, God has us. And that's something we should be so grateful for because like literally there's so many times in my life where I felt like, why is this happening to me? Why am I going through this? But I've come out as a stronger person. And within that, that's some of these things which have happened to me is not something which I would have wished upon myself or anybody else in the world. But at the end of the day, it's made me who I am today. It's made me a stronger person and it's made me a better person. Um, something I used to struggle with was anger issues. And that was, for me, it was like, it was something which I, I didn't understand the full extent of it myself. And when my family would say, oh, wh why are you reacting in this situation? Why are you, like a lot of stuff, it was just like an attack on me. But it's not even an attack on me. It was an attack on character, I would say. And to get through that, like, and learn di a different way of life to what I was so used to was something which was kind of hard. Um, and a lot of anger came from past situations, which I didn't understand why God put me through or why, how it helped me. But when I started to, how it would have helped me. But when I started to tackle these issues and speak about it, I became so much more of a calm, collated person. And I think a lot of the times when we're struggling with an issue, it's not our first point of call to turn to God. Like when I when I kind of realised that sometimes I'd get angry over things which wasn't normal, I wouldn't be like, let me go pray. I'd do other stuff. And like nowadays, like if I feel like I'm becoming angry or I'm not of my usual character, that's something I would always try to do. Like I go and pray over this, go and pray over this spirit of anger and like just try and, distance myself from that kind of side of my person and like a lot of the times it's easy to revert back to old traits because that's how like the devil kind of tries to attack us but we can always turn to God and depend on God like no matter what kind of struggle you're facing like God has your back like honestly and we may not always know and understand how God is working but God is working and that's what I'd like to say today. Thank you. Thank you, Rua, for that amazing word. We'd love to stay connected with you guys. So Ben, how can we do that? Follow us on Instagram at Focus Alive and subscribe to the channel to keep up with everything that's going on. Uh, now we're gonna pray. Father God, I thank you that we can gather together online. And Lord, I thank you that we can rejoice in the struggle. Lord, would you be with us for the rest of this week and encourage us, Lord.